folks saturday night welcome aboard uh already get my echo going on uh yes welcome to murder hobo inc uh we were supposed to go calamity b-side however we have some cash problems so we're going to go ahead and do a one shot uh this is going to be a hex crawl uh hex crawl is an old old uh dilemma we'll see if i can pull it off again uh but it, it should be fun uh for the next two hours we're going to try and keep you entertained and with this uh trio i don't think that's going to be a problem so follow us on twitch follow us on twitter take a look at our youtube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D, &D. join our discord if you want to buy cool things like this murder hobo ink shirt or a phone case or a throw pillow uh, the link is down below if you are in the market for some cool new math rocks and honestly who isn't Run on over to Twitter, uh, hit up at Pirate Dog Dice, see if they have the time, the inclination, or the desire to go ahead and make you some custom dice. Uh, maybe they will, maybe they won't. Uh, but you know what? They're ne it's never going to be as good as Big Red. <clears throat> Just saying. And if your game stinks unlike ours, because ours smells like freaking success, uh, head over to oddfishgames.com, check out their Adventure Sense. They have over 60 smells. Uh, for your nasal pleasure or punishment, uh, in the case of uh, Putrid Sewers, uh, Kyle's testimonial of him nearly dying on on camera was hilarious. It says it all. Yeah, uh, and they also make something called the Shine System. So if you want to be like myself or like Stephen King, only better or gooder, uh, check out the Shine System. It's kind of interesting. It'll help you write. Uh, that being said, this is a one shot tonight. They are third level. There are three of them. I will get to the background here in a moment. If you missed the title card first, let's introduce our staff. Uh, Kev, you are up first. Who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Hi, uh, yeah, I'm Kevin, and I am a awesome. cast member of Murder Hobo Inc. I'm on the Calamity A game as the uh, mysterious new paladin Tall. And last week we played B side, where I had to be a brand new character, Ad Hoc, the old crusty dragonborn, who was fun. Uh, <laughs> I. Uh, also do some one shots with the gang here and i'm happy to be here tonight too i also have my own show game night heroes that comes out every tuesday it is an actual play podcast where it's we tell some cool stories and uh we're on our second year so we've got over 40 episodes of awesome fun stuff to listen to so you can check me out at kevran games and you can check that out at game night heroes every tuesday new episode boys and girls bring it yeah bring it on uh next up is rob rob same question different answers Hi, I'm Rob. Uh, I play Dave on the Calamity campaign and uh, Brother Cup on Calamity B and occasionally show up on one shots or between the roles and kind of do my thing on Twitter and elsewhere as at Cthulhu Rob. Uh, tonight I'm playing Flynn Errolson. He's a uh, dual wielding buccaneer. Ought to be nice. fun in the desert. Let the record show that he did know that it was going to be in the desert before he picked <laughs> Flynn. So Absolutely. Don't, don't go, God, the DM's such a dick. Now these guys <laughs> knew where they were headed. The DM's still a dick, but not for different reasons. Uh, last but certainly not least, Carrie. Who are you? Who are you playing tonight? Uh, my name's Carrie. Uh, married to the DM, do this producing thing, make some dice play on cacophony blah 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 so tonight i'm playing harmony Devereaux. she is a what is she a rock gnome druid she's unfortunately related to blanche Devereaux, that slut awesome <laughs> <Her> sister <laughs> she's not happy about it at all it's your own fault for letting me pick names i know uh boys and girls at home i told her i said you know you're getting a one shot what do you want ah, i don't care i'll let you pick <laughs> It's on you. <laughs> That's it. At least it's it not been, candy floss. <laughs> it was almost cherry toppers. So <laughs> <laughs> it just, I just could have really screwed you over. Uh, you would have been a monk <laughs> with a pole. Okay, folks. Uh, that goes all kinds time. of ways right there. <laughs> <laughs> Murder Hubbo Inc., take the worst. Dollar, dollar bills, y'all. <clears throat> and you know what? I, I always forget to say this because we always put the warning out. This is for mature audiences only. So if you don't like it, uh, don't bitch whine or sound like a pansy. Just shut us off and go watch something else. Kev ran games. I mean, you know, they're out there. Find a game that you like and enjoy it. Uh, don't be a bitch. Don't be a punk. Just whatever. Uh, tonight, a bitch one punk. shot. That's right. A bitch, especially a bitch punk. Uh, that's a Wolverine. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and the Michigan audience just petered out. So uh, this one shot is in the works. Uh, I think I'm going to change up the flavor, but for tonight, uh, these guys are in a desert region. Uh, they have taken a job from Sheik Al Ali Fora. Uh, there's been a war recently. Uh, Sheik and his contingent have won uh, in regards to this war. They have taken over some property adjacent to his kingdom. So Sheik Ali needs someone to go in, map this place out, figure out if it's worth venturing into, i.e. are there water resources or other resources available, uh, <clears throat> and, and just check it out. He has given the party uh, 14 days of food and water, okay? So you're going to be on a limited time frame here, boys and girls. 14 so, days. Do we have a horse with no name? Uh, you have a mule, and you have a lackey no name. named... Uh, what should the lackey's name be? Uh, Groomio. Groomio. I do Groomio, love Groomio. that son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, I love, Groomio is an excellent person. Uh, Groomio, uh, he is non-combative. Uh, he is very laid back, very low key. Uh, he is the mule whisperer, or as he likes to refer to it, the ass whisperer. <laughs> He will make sure that uh, the mule is doing its job. However, okay, and I've been thinking about this all day long. Uh, if you guys really screw up, you have the chance of killing Grumio or the mule uh, named Little Abner. Uh, so uh, that that is just something to think about. And if you lose Little Abner... Uh, you're going to have to haul your shit around uh, and ditch it in the first round of the combat. So awesome. uh, just a little little play here, folks. This is just a one-shot, a little hex crawl we're doing. Uh, I'm going to throw up the player's map here in just a few minutes. Uh, do you have... Oh, uh, Ali Farah, uh, Sheik Ali has given you guys, or will give you guys, 500 gold pieces to go ahead and scout this area out. But you only got 14 days to do it because he's working on a high rise and, you know, he's got apartment buildings he's building. And shit That's like all that. we're doing is scouting. <clears throat> Just scouting. <clears throat> if you encounter something, you'll be expected to deal with it either peacefully or aggressively. Uh, Grumio does not care. Uh, Grumio just cares about little Abna. Don't hurt my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, are there any questions for philosophy I can share? It's true. There we go. <laughs> no, we're good. Let's <laughs> let's do this. We're, we're together. The three of us are working together all, on this. All three of you are together. It, it's surmised that you guys have been uh, on adventures before. Currently, as far as you know, you have no competitors in this. Oh okay. boy. That's not to say that somebody might not follow you in. Uh, this uh -huh. is an arid desert environment. Uh, the area of Sheik Ali is hills. You are going into essentially an arroyo, since I'm just all over the place with my descriptors. Uh, but you're going into an area surrounded by a lot of high mountains, uh, arid desert, high plateaus, uh, and one volcano. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, nice. That, that is uh, just lightly puffing. So not, nothing horrific. Just having a uh, smoke. Just, yeah, just, you know, it's well, not the Vesuvius level, uh, so we're good to go. Any other questions for Sheik Ali? No, I think we're good. I think we're ready to do this. Okay, how's that look on the big screen, producer? Looks good. Okay, there we go. So uh, these guys have had the map delivered to them electronically. Uh, you guys will be starting out, uh, right? Uh, we'll say right here. Uh, man. Boy, I need new glasses. Well, that is a uh, small Outside the, the font size. 11. So that's an 11. So let's jack that shit up. It's time to juice it up. 
There we go. Now we can all see that. Ooh, so you guys are at uh, hex one or o one o six. The teeth of Fanghorn is what the entrance is called. Uh, nothing discernible about that. Certainly nothing bad. Uh, the high mountains uh, have uh, striations of different color. They're actually very pretty. Uh, so. You know, you got that going for you. So it's going to be pretty. Uh, as you reach the opening, uh, each hex, I think we're going to go with four hour hexes. Uh, so you got 14 days. Remember, you go in, you still got to get out. Otherwise, you're dying of thirst. Are we coming and in and out the same place? You, well, you don't know. And okay. neither does he. So she uh this is just on the fringe. So there might be areas outside of this grid uh, that offer egress uh, for enemies or friends, maybe a trade route. So if you find those, you are to stay within the grid, mostly because the DM's lazy and he didn't do jack shit outside the grid. So it's the Hunger but, Games. Uh, exactly. So if you go there, I'm going to just send fire and shit at you. Uh, yes. Love that being said, you three groomy. Where was that again? where oh, yes it's the big the big hexagon right? that's right uh, uh little abner uh is already having an issue so everybody give me an animal handling good boy mm. Up to an auspicious. i realized i didn't say who my character was i'm playing trevor quincy a former archaeologist who's now a cleric of sune the goddess of beauty and passion that will come in handy i get 21 Animal handling we um, did? Yep. <clears throat> I'm starting off with a six. Twelve. Uh, Flynn and Quincy, uh, no go. Little Abner does not care for you. Rubio says, uh, let me show you how it's done, boys. Uh, gives Time for the, the donkey show. <laughs> gives, the, gives the burrow a kiss on the lips, causing uh, the uh, lips to flare out, showing teeth and giving a loud brain. However, Harmony has a few spare berries, and she tosses it to it, and little Abner is more than happy to go along. Grumio feels slighted. Uh, you guys head on in oh, here. Oh, Sugar, you don't know how to treat animals at all. I can tell. <laughs> wow. You're going to be late for the cotillion. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how do you guys want to do the marching order? This is going to be wide. It's not a narrow passage, so you're going to have several hundred yards on either side hex hex crawls are usually just for exploration so folks at home if you haven't been in one uh not every hex has something uh in it let's say in let's it. say aggressive <laughs> there's always something in there uh but it might Sand. just be a point of natural beauty so here you go as you guys walk up to 0106 uh you come up on a slight hill and you notice uh, there are going to be mountains everywhere, but you aren't really sure where they fall into the hex at this point in time. The uh, smoke, smoke is over here in the tens and the nines. So it's somewhere over here. This is a very broad area, several square miles. We're talking, I don't know, maybe a county wide, if you want to think of it that way. So you've got a broad range of expectation. You have two weeks of food and water on little Abner. Uh, Grumio is not eating it yet uh but who knows so uh is there a marching order or do you want to go straight line and keep grooming well, what is what is everyone's survival rating i have a plus six in my survival perhaps uh, i should take the lead but i'm not sure I've got plus how about four. you harmony okay how about plus you three. flynn three three all right, then Trevor Quincy with his perfectly coiffed hair will go first. Oh, I do declare. I do love a man who will take the lead. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, uh, indeed. Well, Quincy, thanks for volunteering. D12 oh, yes. against me. <sighs> I'll this is where I die, rear. gang. Nine. Uh, tied with a nine. Uh, straight up initiative. Uh, no penalties, no bonuses. Uh, everybody initiative. Okay. That's pretty good. I'm off to start. Four. A 17. Six. Oh, bad news. Uh, Quincy, you feel yep. the sand beneath you kind of 
give a little shimmy and shake, and you see tentacles rise up out of said sandy hillside. Uh, give me an arcana check, everybody, to see if you know what this is. Well, normally I am the one making the earth shake, but apparently I am the victim here. Uh, 13. Arcana 20, not natural. Uh, 17. Quincy, Harmony, yeah, you're familiar with this, not very well. Uh, think of it as an octopus that hides below the sand and uses its tentacles to grapple with opponents. It had an 18, so it gets to go first against Quincy. Mon Dieu, I think I've seen something like this in my sister's bedroom. Uh, <laughs> wow. Uh, I believe I've used one of those as well. <laughs> with a two, I don't care how many pluses I have. Quincy, you managed to leap back accordingly. Flynn, you saw the sand shimmy and shake. You are up next. Um, I'll, I'll move myself towards it, drawing both of my swords. Uh, and uh, attack the tentacles. Nice. In a one-two kind of formation. AC-12 did this creature. Right. Uh, first one hits... Second one hits. Uh, what the hell is the damage on the third again? Eight. Right. Knowing your character is over exaggerated, folks. <laughs> yeah, it's been a bit since I played Flint. Uh, that's, that's why you have a character sheet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 15 points of slashing damage from the two wounds. Very nice. Uh, Quincy, how far did you want to leap back? I'll just do a quick jump back up. Um, can I do my full movement or just enough to just get out of the way? Either or. Um, I'll I'm move back just enough to be out of the so way. I speak. still like to fight. So I'm going to just be jump back just enough to be um, beside my, my friend Flynn here. Sure. Go ahead. You had the six. All right. I'm going to uh, begin to gesture and cast a magical spell as I call upon Sune's magic. I flash a little mirror out of my pocket, and a flash of light streaks towards the creature as I cast a guiding bolt to aid myself and my allies in this endeavor. And I'm going to go ahead and roll an attack roll and get a 14. Nice. 14 does hit. Excellent. Um, it's going to take 46 radiant damage. It's time to roll some hobo dice. Nice. Ooh, we got one hobo. Boom. And so that's a six, uh, eight, 11, 12 points of damage. Uh, it is radiant damage. And um, the next attack roll made against the creature is at advantage due to my magical energies illuminating it. Very nice. Uh, Harmony, it now shimmers with magical light uh, as it attempts to attack Flynn and Quincy. You are up. What would you like to do? Uh, I am going to attack it with poison spray. Nice. We'll see if that works. Well, if you miss, you're going to get both Flynn and Quincy. I got <laughs> 17. That hits. Okay, so you have to do a constitution saving roll. Blanche squirts effectively. Uh, no, <laughs> harmony. Harmony. Uh, that's an 11. Don't you know Blanche squirts continuously? <laughs> right. That's an 11, so I'm guessing I choked that one out. So, one, the, oh, you did? You made it? I don't, I did not make it. Oh, yay. I don't think an 11 makes it. Oh, well, shit. Two. Wow. That was disappointing. To say the least. New round, new round. Uh, Flynn and Quincy, you are both within range. Uh, Harmony is not so odd even. Uh, odd being Flynn. Uh, that's a three, so that is odd. Uh, it will go after Flynn. Uh, I'm going to have to switch. That's a four. So oh, that's not going to hit my 17. Miss. I've got two blades. Uh, when you notice that it lunges towards you rather meekly, must be caught on a hook or something, you're up. Uh, yeah, right. Same thing, slash, slash. Uh, first one is actually going to miss. The second one is a natural 20. Right. So, uh, that's going to be 2d8s. Well, that one that might have missed was that advantage, if you recall. No, because Harmony attacked. 
Oh, that's right. Okay. It's next attack. Uh, on so that side. Uh, eight points of damage. Thirty-seven total. Uh, it seems to be bleeding quite a bit there, Quincy. Don't they all? I'm going to uh, take my mace and would strike out at the beast, trying to aid Flynn in his endeavors here. And uh, I'm going to roll. Club in the tentacle. Oh, yes. Uh, with my mace, it's going to be a 13 to hit. That does hit. Oh, good. Uh, 1d8 piercing damage. Um, it's going to be four points of piercing damage. 41. Uh, Harmony, these guys are beating the crap out of this tentacled creature, uh, but it's still swinging and flailing, so it's still alive. All right. Uh, I just want to know if it's edible. Right. <laughs> Grumio does too. Okay, so 15 hits, and I will try the poison spray again. Okay. Uh, nice. Oh, this time's a 16, so I think I'm taking half. Uh, I got nine. So I will take a uh, round down. Uh, four. Four. Four point five. Forty-five. <laughs> uh, round three, boys and girls. I live to fight another day. Uh, Staying Harmony in his face. Still distanced herself. Grumio has found himself an apple. Oh. Five odd again, Flynn. Uh, where's a good die? <laughs> yeah, throw something that might even. I don't know. Me. I don't know where the good die are because that's another <laughs> <Lost>. four. <laughs> it's my two swords. They just confuse your dice. Apparently, I am quasi stupid. Well, so you are up. An octopus shouldn't be in the sand. The octopus is all like, "Why is there a pirate here? Why okay. is there uh, no water?" The the first one is going to hit. Uh, it's an 18, and the second one is going to hit. That's a 18 plus. Oh, no, it's not. It doesn't get a bonus. It's the offhand. Okay. So two 18s. Woohoo. There you go. Love it. Give me some damage and kill plus three. Uh, how about 19? That's more than enough to kill it. Yes. Uh, as you guys have braved your first encounter here, you turn around and you see both Grumio and little Abner sitting on their ass. Grumio is sharing an apple with little Abner. Uh, he takes a bite, swallows it, and says, I haven't really done fucking around yet. <laughs> I just want to know if anybody wants calamari. I'll try it. <laughs> it could be good if we could flare it up. with the... It's refreshing to a lady's eyes to see two men exert themselves in such a masculine fashion. Wow. I do declare. Uh, you says he'll you are it. certainly <laughs> welcome, Harmony, and I'll <laughs> coif my hair, put a comb through it. Are you going to let him uh, try a bite there, Flynn, or no? Oh, sure. Yeah, I'm going to slice it up, sum up. Yeah, he's had better. I was, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put some of that in a bag, and then yeah. I'm going to watch him for a few hours. Sure. That'll work. <laughs> Uh, from your location, uh, you go down into a rift or a canyon area, uh, and it uh, splits off. You can go straight ahead for four hours. Uh, you can go towards to the left. Uh, essentially, you can go noon, two o'clock, or four o'clock. That's how I usually run hex crawls. Mm -hmm. Oh, let me see. Well, we could go two o'clock trying to make our way towards the volcano in the distance. Straight there, straight back, see what's in the middle, perhaps. Or do we want to stay relatively close and spread out? Do we want to have a more of a overall rub down? Let's, let's, or do we want to go let's straight run to two the good o'clock? Let's run two o'clock and then we can switch to four o'clock a little later to get to the volcano. Oh three oh five, everybody roll investigation. Investigation. That's right. Uh, 16. Two. Um, that's that's well, just straight dice. Looking at the wrong one. Investigation is going to be a 13. Uh, let's see. Flynn, yes. you find some old bones here. Uh, 
possibly goblin away, do you think? Maybe? Hmm. Interesting. Hmm. It's so are they are they new or oh no they're bleached okay they've been here quite a while uh you also get a handle on uh well you know what i'm not going to do that yet so uh this has been eight hours mm-hmm. essentially uh big grids usually six miles uh is the mm-hmm. aligned one uh so you've been going for eight hours but you guys are in pretty good shape uh, if you want to explore another one, I'll give you three a day. Um, I'm ready to keep on going if you guys are. And and the volcano stuff is around like ten five, ten six kind of area. You said yeah, ten yeah, four, right, ten three. Right, oh right nine, here. okay, yeah, right, right, right over there somewhere. Let's keep going two o'clock. Two o'clock, so four oh five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, everybody, give me investigation. 11. Ugh, four. Uh, Flynn, you discover a big rift, uh, a depression in the earth, uh, and it will go. Uh, yeah, uh, maybe 40 feet down. Yeah. Uh, How far run. does it run? Uh, it, it runs pretty much right through the half of this X. Uh, Ooh. So North to southish, or uh, uh, so sort of eleven to five. Eleven to five. So we'd have to cross it. You'd have to cross it or find a way around it. Uh, how? How? It's forty feet across. Yes. Yeah. Um, I'm incapable of flying. Perhaps if I had a mast, I could swing to it. But. Mm, I say, what do you think, fellow? Harmony, are you able to fly across and perhaps stake something on the other side that we could use to go across? Or should we move around? Uh, Grumio points out, hey, what about Lou Abner? We should have to go around then. Yes. What about Little Abner? He can't fly. You want him to walk a tightrope? He's not that graceful. So our choice is... You're probably not that graceful. Our choices appear to be to move towards the kind of northwest and the 304 hex, or to move towards the southeast and the 505 hex, or the 406 hex, perhaps. So like between 11 and 5, yeah. We'd probably have to go to 406 next. But it looks like, yeah, maybe going south would actually make the distance a little bit shorter it looks like yeah. it's maybe one or two less hexes to move through unless we wanted to other opposition Twelve, leaders. two four so that'd be like you know six word on the clock this is the but end of day we, one we should we should head as far as we can that direction and then find a camping spot and then, uh, well, i think camping here is is fine enough I mean, I don't like to move into too much into the dark unless I'm moving in ways that are a bit more fun than trampsing through the sand. Well, I think then we should move back at least 30, 40 feet from the edge. To give you guys a decent idea. Uh, We're in the outback. Pretty much. Uh, I like it's gonna, it. It's going to be wide, uh, but there's going to be some kind of fauna. Uh, pro, or I'm sorry flora, possibly fauna in the area. Uh, it's not a completely desolate sand pit. Uh, it's just a distressed area. So this is essentially kind of what it looks like. But at the end of day one, you have gone three hexes, or yeah, you've gone three hexes, uh, and now you have choices to make. Uh, day two begins, nobody was wounded. Your spells have been recovered. That's always a plus. What would you like to do now? Well, after my morning ablutions of washing and drying my hair, I think it's time for us to get going. <clears throat> you are clean. Are you, you Romeo wants to know, are you using all the goddamn water? I have my own personal supply for just such a thing. Mm-hmm. Cleanliness is next to godliness, and my goddess does like us very clean. Fair enough. So you will not be able to make it uh, across. Uh, so your only real options are 0304, 0505, or 0404. 
06. Yeah, I think I well, think if we, we could get to 0505, that would be the way to more toward the volcanoes. Definitely. But definitely. Depends on if the rift. So we could try and kind of lean between 5 and 6 on the on the clock and head towards 505 tomorrow. But tomorrow would be a good time to, you know, do all that. Or so today. we get full night's rest and wake up the morning, yeah. Okay. So what do you guys think? Go like 405 skirting edge 406 505. Definitely, the... yeah. I like that. We're going towards 505. Yeah. Unfortunately, as you get to the border of 0405 and 0406, you notice that this rift uh, continues and it gets wider at 50 uh, feet across. Uh, you guys are at 0406, or it's 50. Um, give me an investigation check, please. Uh, 12. Nine. Uh, 19. Uh, 19. You find a berry tree. Oh. It has purple berries on it. They're small with little black pits on it. Uh, if anybody wants to check it out, I'll need a nature check. Uh, let's see what's my... Sure, uh, I get a plus three. Oh, there you go. Uh, seven. <laughs> well, they're purple. They probably taste like grapes. <laughs> Grimio, oh. would you want to try one of these for us? Well, what do you know what they are? Uh, Grumio says, what are you, fucking daft? That's poisonous berries. I wouldn't feed that to little Abner's ant. Little Abner's got a 19 what? Ant. Oh. Auntie. Auntie Abner. Oh, okay. aunt. Uh, yeah, he got a 19. He knows what those are. He calls them dingleberries. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to eat those. <laughs> oh, my God. We finally found the dingleberry bush. Bless your heart. Yeah, that's uh, let's... Thank you for saving us. He points out that those are toxic and should not be consumed. Uh, I take two and put them in my pouch. Fair enough. Uh, four hours later, uh, you guys are at 0406. Uh, 0306, 0407, because you can't. Well, can you get to 0506? Yeah, you can get to 0506 if you want it. I'll give you that. All right. Let's do that, it. That would be the best we can get, I guess. Okay. 0506 it is. A lot of sand, a lot of dunes, a lot of movement. Everybody give me a, a perception check. Ah, the perception. Hmm. Oh, yeah. So 11. Good. 18. Um, 7. Flynn, you are the only one that notices wavy lines in the sand. Like moving? Uh, no, like something moved over it and left okay. tracks. I just want to make sure it wasn't a hump of sand moving. Uh, I'll point it out to um, Quincy and Grumio and Harmony. <sighs> yeah, I know, but I don't know Lance if it's pointing out the point. point tracks in the sand to harmony <laughs> look my dear i've discovered tracks oh i am swooning with desire right i'll let Quin i'll let quincy show them to harmony uh the good news is it's still hot it's still arid it's not excessively hot um uh, and it it's not suffering any freak electrical storms which is a plus harmony well, like that this is how Bruce Banner got it. <laughs> this looks like it could be a snake moving through the sand. Not with your role, it doesn't. <laughs> well, yeah. He pointed it out. It'd be a big what? Oh, that's true. It's a snake. Strange markings in the sand by Peter Dragon. <laughs> nice. I uh, heard that album. Yes. You guys have your choice. You are at 0506. Uh, 0407, 0505, 0507, 0607, 0606. Oh, 0606, please. Mm, yeah, we're going to keep on pushing, Ron. Nice. 
Wow. Wow. No. Well, that's camp, folks. Uh, th this rift is only three across, or 30 feet across, rather. Still farther than I can jump. Uh, I will also take investigation checks. Of course you will. Ah, uh, crap. 14. 19. I'm afraid we're uh, going to find something. 11. Uh, 19, Harmony, you discover something else here. You discover a flowering shrub. If you knew any shrubbers, they would be interested in it. Uh, each petal. I know some on... knights that might be looking for one. That's right. <laughs> each petal has five different leaves of five different colors. What does it smell like? I was just going to say, what does it smell oh, like? Oh, uh, Grumio, oh, Grumio, what for knowest thou about this plant, Grumio? <laughs> Very pretty. It's got colorful flowers. I'm told it has a fragrance like chocolate. Uh, Harmony, does it smell like chocolate? Does it? It does indeed. Oh. Mm. Nice. Are they edible? Uh, Grumio does not know. Uh, D20 straight up. Six. Twelve. Uh, if you want to grab a petal or a blossom and eat it before Grumio does, go ahead. Sure. I declare this is the best thing I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> give, me a, give me a con check. Ah, the producer's wild tonight. Uh, <laughs> Ouch. Fifteen. I say, Quincy, you might be able to fix that before the night. <laughs> That's true. He's clean. Or he says <laughs> he's clean. Uh, yeah, it, it, it has a pleasant taste. It tastes like uh, uh, white chocolate. Ew. <laughs> the Ew. best chocolate of all. I turn Delicious. around and I whack Flynn and I say, I'm not my slut sister. <laughs> you offended me, sir. <laughs> uh, with the sky dimming. Uh -huh. Uh, uh, uh. You guys have a choice. Uh, 0505, 0605. Uh, you can't get to 07. And you can try 0607. Uh, because 07, uh, 0705, and 0706, uh, you would have to cross the 30 foot gap, and you cannot do that. Should we head to 605 and see what, if we can get across closer to where we were headed? Yes, I like that idea a lot. Instead of proceeding more to the south. On your final jaunt of the day, sand. Uh, An investigation check. Natural That's 20. Good. Nice. 13. It's uh, good, too, 19. because I have a zero bonus. Quincy oh, there you go. Flynn, you both uh, see an oasis. <laughs> oh. Excellent. Grumio immediately peels off his clothing and sprints across naked as a jaybird into the water and begins to splash around. I, I'll I shriek, saunter my eyes. Closer. <laughs> you can! Beauty does exist in all forms. Um, are, there, are there ripe dates on the palm trees? D12 against me. Dun, 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 dun. Was that a euphemism? 11. Uh, yes, there are dates. I, I'll, I'll shimmy up the tree and get some. Okay, oh, give me a acro yeah. or give me an athletic. Oh, either way, I'm happy either way. Uh, that's a uh, fifteen plus five is uh, twenty. Uh, D twelve. Five. You get five dates out of it. Uh, okay. Grumio and little Abner are both in the water, Ugh. washing off two days worth of stench. Uh, but this is a very pleasant area. Uh, it is a small pond. Uh, the water is potable, so that's a plus. Not perfect, after Grumio got in it. Perfect area for camp, uh, which brings us to the end of day two. Keep in mind, dun, 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 dun. 14 days worth of food and water, although you can resupply your water stock here if you'd like. That would be good. <clears throat> Pop it up. 
So yeah, we'll top things off. I'm gonna have one of those those petals that Harmony had earlier when I partake because sure. I love white chocolate. Sure, there you go. Take one of those. I'm I'm gonna have a bit of a bath, and since Grumio doesn't seem to have anything uh, negative effect from having eaten the calamari, I'll pull it out and clean it in the spring and slice it up and use it for cooking. Oh, great! I love that as well. I, I wish I could come up with a. Well, who's the asshole chef? Always Which yelling. one? Uh, Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Gordon Ramsay. Yeah. Uh, is it Gordon Ramsay? Yeah. 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 I wish I could come up with a good Gordon Ramsay euphemism, but no. Uh, <laughs> camp tonight is awesome. I mean, uh, you got water, you got dates. Everybody's clean. The stench is off little Abner. <clears throat> you guys, are, you, you know, this is nice. This, this is nice. And you found water. So she got leaves going to be pretty happy. Uh, next morning, however, uh, there's some really dark clouds building. And you can see just forks of lightning shooting across the sky. Uh, it's going to be an ugly day in the neighborhood here. You guys are, are at 0605. You have uh, a plethora of options. Should we? If we wish to continue towards the volcano, are we, are we, or where we assume the volcano is, are we moving into the teeth of the storm, as it were? Uh, odd, yes, even no. Even no. Okay, that would seem like the good idea then. Towards our destination and away from the teeth of the storm. So you're saying you want to go where? 0704. Yes. Unless there's any objection. Now, since there is a nasty storm, I rolled a one. Uh, everybody, including Grumio and Little Abner, are going to roll straight up D20s. Uh, one means uh, you get turned into a Frankfurter. Uh, blue will be Grumio. Root beer will be Little Abner. Fifteen. Nine. Seventeen. 11 and 13, uh, the first four hours reveal uh, sand, a whole lot of sand. Uh, but as you go deeper into this hex crawl, uh, you find uh, freestanding stones. Very unusual. Uh, some look like giant balls on little pedestals. Uh, think of the Painted Desert in Utah. Uh, or any of our national park systems out there. Uh, give me investigation checks for this one. Ooh. 21. Nine. Well, it's now it's my turn for the natural 20, so I have a 20. Rocks. <laughs> Harmony, Quincy, a slight crashing uh, in some underbrush reveals uh, what appears to be a, a, a deer of some kind. Oh, bless my heart. Is it injured? Not yet. I, I go up to it to see if I can help it. This I'm is a sign of beauty all. and grace in this place. Uh, it, it, you, yeah, there's, there's, you guys are not in the rift at this point in time. So, yes, there is some sun, but the uh, clouds are rather harping on it. Well, Harmony, it's going to start to take off, and it's going to go in a direction of... North. It sprints out uh, quite a bit, uh, and it's dodging because you've got a lot of underbrush and sagebrush and things of that nature. Uh, so it is hightailing it out to the north. Well, I guess it must be okay then. I would assume perhaps it's heading towards an area that is safe as well. So perhaps the north is an area that we could potentially go to that would be safe for us to explore. So alt seven, alt three. Is what seven, alt three. Uh, new I'm hex, down. New hex, new D20 roll, boys and girls. Uh, yep. And you nah, 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 nah. Oh, wow. One. Oh, a dozen. Did you say one? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> 13. When? 12. Uh, as Harmony uh, stretches out her arm to point in the direction the uh, creature went, lightning hits her for 14 hit points. Oh, no. slumps into the Jesus, sand. that's more than half. Yikes. <laughs> Huzzah. 
around. A slight plume of smoke rises off her head. Uh, you know, what? I will quickly approach and I will give her a healing caress to make sure that my cure wounds will heal her of this injury. I'm going to go ahead and cast it at. Uh, I'll just cast it at first level. 14 points, you said? Yes. Okay, because I am a life cleric, so I didn't get bonuses on healing. So I'll just do first oh, level, yeah, see where that gets her. I'm going to go ahead and use... Uh, Potato. <laughs> Potato, yes. That's what... It... December. Thanks, Dad. Oh, okay. Thanks for dropping well... me off at school. <laughs> if you've ever seen Get Hard, you'll get that one. Potato. <laughs> <laughs> I, well, I rolled max of eight plus my bonus of two for being a life cleric, so she gets ten. Oh, awesome. Do oh. you require additional healing, lady? Goodness. I've always been one to rely on the kindness of strangers. Give me an intelligence <laughs> check, uh, their <laughs> harmony. Let's, let's see if you've suffered any uh, oh, CTE God. damage. Uh, let's see. Seven. <laughs> she's gonna even with the healing she's gonna be a little bit out of it uh each of you then here <laughs> as groomio laughs at her <laughs> what an he, asshole i say as he eats another poor apple. form boy poor form you understand that we are taking you here with us we are essentially your bosses for this little endeavor Nah, you don't understand. The Sheik has told me to come in and check on you fuckers. Make sure you're doing your job. Not uh, uh, Sheik, he sending you me three into the desert. Is, you uh... answer to me. <laughs> oh, is that Bodies how it disappear feels? in the desert all the time. Well, they certainly do. So they certainly they're, do. They're... I've seen a casino. I know how this works. <laughs> nice. Uh, unfortunately, this is also a rift area. So... I mean... Normally, I use a desert island, but any desert will do. Hey, can yeah. I take my healing potion? I don't want to be stupid forever. Oh, you won't be. It's a short-term thing. Uh, hey, God, man. 40 feet across this rift. Yikes. So you guys are Which way not can we not go now? Uh, you cannot go... Seven oh seven oh two oh six oh three or oh eight oh three. You can well eight oh four was more toward the direction we were headed anyhow. Well, that since I'm stupid right now, I go up to him and I say, "You know, I'm just a, a, a gnome. Could somebody th or a dwarf? Could somebody throw me across the way?" Uh, just a no, 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 You're a yeah. gnome or a dwarf? Because. No. If she you're is, a gnome, yes. If you're a dwarf, no. I'm a gnome. She is very confused right now, as, we, as we mentioned. <laughs> 40 feet's quite a ways. It is. <laughs> it's fine. Just stay with us. We'll, we'll walk it's around. it's so pretty out here. Yes. We'll and again, around. you hear... <laughs> we have time. We could build a trebuchet. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> Launch the, oasis, the gnome Cut down that canyon. tree. That's right. Go uh, back and get me 15 palm trees. Very nice. Sand, again, give me uh, investigation checks. You are definitely getting closer to the volcano, though. Nice. Um, that's a hot shit die. That's a natural 20 again. So I Beautiful. Get 16. At least I Eight. don't have an intelligence negative with this character. <laughs> 18. Uh, all three of you come upon the ruins of what appears to be a cart or a Conestoga wagon. Ah. Uh, several skeletons are present with the sand moved over them. Uh, there is some char damage to the wagon. Uh, it appears as though somebody at some point in time came through here and met with serious opposition. Uh, it's looking I rather like a good place to camp. Yes. Uh, I, will, I will lay the bodies to rest, do some last rites upon them, give them Sune's blessing yep. for a beautiful I'll, rebirth of the next life. I'll pull out my short-handled shovel and start digging around. I hop Fair up enough. in the wagon and look for pretty stuff. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> digging through the sand that's all scooped around to look for things that are buried or covered by sand. Uh, no, Mario, go ahead and give me a hand with these 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 poor people. Rumio doesn't work for you. What's in it for me? Rumio, I got a feeling your whole <laughs> family is going down, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> ah, threatened. Uh, what's in nice. it for Rumio? 
Farg and the Heroes. Trivia <laughs> <laughs> mm. doesn't care uh, for the heroes. He will reluctantly help uh, doing a half ass job. Uh, I will take Investigation by Harmony and Flynn since they are actively pursuing loot. I got a 19. Yes. <clears throat> That's that same red die. That is a hot die tonight. 15. Yep. Uh, 15. Harmony, uh, you see some very magenta uh, colored flowers. Uh, Flynn, uh, in your exploration of sand, you uncover a helmet which, in spite of the uh, obvious adverse effects, uh, seems to be in good shape. I, I will thoroughly check it out, being a fighter and familiar with armor. Uh, D12 against me. Okay. I got a 12. I got a 2. Uh, it fits. Uh, it is a pot nice. helmet. A uh, rounded pot helmet. Uh, it fits. Seems to be real nice. I didn't nice. have a helmet. Can I tell if the flowers are useful? Uh, give me a nature check. I'll make sure to get out my armor kit and make the straps <laughs> adjustable and to everything fit proper. 21. Sure. Uh, they're pretty. You don't know if they have any healing potential. Okay, I'll pick some and start putting them in my hair. Cool. These look so nice. Uh, you start to feel better. You're feeling good about yourself. Hmm. Confident? Uh, yeah, a little bit of confidence. Uh, you feel pretty, oh so pretty, so, so pretty witty. and witty and gay. Uh, maybe it's Maybelline, maybe it's the flowers, who knows? Nice. Uh, so if I go over this thing with steel wool, can I bring it back to a shine? It already shines. Oh, okay. Beautiful. Good, good, goody. Okay, and shiny it, pot helm. Yay. It's it's been buried in the uh, sand. Quite yeah, a I'm while. suspicious, but I'm also kind of <laughs> digging the shine. Uh, in this four-hour period, that storm is directly above you. I Everybody, roll twenties. Don't roll a one. Seven. Five. Eleven. 18, 16, uh, Harmony almost gets clipped again, uh, but at the end of day three... I am uh, the shortest one! What kind of metal are you wearing? <laughs> she's a druid. This is Close the, to the ground, dog. Oh, she's a druid, druid, I forgot. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Day four, good news. Uh, everybody's back to full hit points and spells. Still have to work on that metric, I think. Uh... <laughs> Where where do you want to go? Uh, clearly, uh, well, now that probably... we're a bit closer, can we narrow in on the smoke source anymore? Looks like ten oh six. Let us head that direction then. Let's go. Nine oh nine oh four. Nine oh four. Cool beans. You are fortunate enough to. Oh, let's see how the weather is. Well, actually, nice day. Excellent. Uh, oh, great. Unfortunately, you have wandered into a lava field. How do we have a lava field if it hasn't exploded? Uh, well, lava leaks out through tubes all the time before the top blows. A lot of, a lot of smoke, a lot of mist, a lot of sulfury smell. Mm -hmm. and, and active heat. Real active heat. Uh, uh, I tell Grimio he should investigate. Romeo doesn't want to speak to Barnoff, bitch. Excuse me? Oh, Grumio, Grumio. What did you call me, you cur? Well, oh, can we retreat back then? Or, or, or head to... What's the safest looking direction? Uh, up or down or 0805. And you know what? Uh... uh 0805 sounds better than... I'm going to give you four hexes today. Because once you get into 0904, you're going to realize pretty quickly... That get the fuck out and head move, for 805. Move a little move a little yeah, faster. Please. Yeah. Uh, which one did you say? 0805? 805. 805? Yep, 805. Let's do it. <clears throat> jog, 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 jog. Uh, sand again. Everybody, roll me d20. I'm gonna roll this white die because the red it. one I'm afraid of now. Uh, <laughs> <Three>. <laughs> 11. Yeah, I was afraid. 
might have. Maybe I should have just stuck with the hot die. <laughs> Eight. Uh, and Harmony got a three, so none of you notice anything unusual. A lot of sand, a lot of rock formations, and a lot of striations in the rock. I mean, it's it's not horrible, and it's a nice day. It, you know, there's a breeze coming from somewhere, uh, somewhere from the north, away from the lava flow. So, you know, you got that going for you. Let's, uh, well, I don't know. What do you think about <laughs> heading to 806 and then cutting across toward 1006? Yeah, we could do that. Cut so we across could go through 806 and 906? Yeah. yeah Try definitely. and skirt that lava field as wide as possible. Mm -hmm. Uh... 0806. Hi. Riff. I'm going back to that red die. Shit. <laughs> Three, 30 feet. And how does it block us? Uh, you have 0905, 0705. Ooh, going to have to go for a 905 then. I'm not going to get as far away from that lava field as we thought we were. Uh, and you know what? I'm going to go ahead and any, well, I'll worry about that later. But I think uh, if you're going back over terrain that you've already explored, you aren't going to be exploring it anymore. So you'll be able to double your movement rate. Uh, you said 0905? Yeah. <clears throat> Everybody D20. 20. That's that red die back. I'm Beautiful. sticking with it. Uh, four. Uh, Quincy, Harmony, uh, you notice the lava fields to the north. It's rather expansive. You can tell that the volcano is right there. Uh, so that is no longer a mystery. Uh, however, with the 20, uh, 1006, Flynn, there's a cave. Mmm, that's quite interesting. A lot of plume smoke are emitting from it. Uh, it's dirty smoke, though. Not clean. It, yeah. That that seems dangerous and interesting at the same time. What say you? Yes, if you find a uh, a dark, deep crevasse next to something hot, perhaps it is something to explore. I mean, we have a gnome with us. What does that mean? Oh, this is a huge uh, opening. Huge crack in the mountain. Right. Am I to be but, sacrificed just for this? No, we would never do that, darling. Gnomes, gnomes are better acquainted with underground than, than us humans. Probably see better in there as well. Hmm. Fuck you. They want to send you in. I suppose. Oh, I'd go with her. It's for the greater good. The greater good. Uh, you guys, uh, so Flynn's going with her. Quincy, are you hanging out with Grumio and Little Abner? Or? Oh, no, I will go with my allies. I will go last in the marching order to make sure that I'm with them. Do Grumio we trust that Grumio's going to stay there? I'll guard your ear. And he's yeah. eating a pear. Mm. Yeah. Uh, you guys venture forth. It's very dim, except for Flynn. Uh, you seem to have Elvin's sight for some reason now. And you Holy can crap. see 120 feet the hell into it? the cave. Uh, Quincy, not so much. Harmony, I can't remember. You I know have dark, dark vision. vision. Yep, up uh, to 60 yep. feet. So 60. So Flynn has I've got extremely... I Wow. Uh, Flynn, you see something moving uh, right about the 100 foot mark. Ooh, something... Mm, just something moving, something large moving. Uh, you can't really tell. There's a lot of stalactites and stalagmites in here. Okay, that's, so that's 100 one feet away. There's large thing or a lot of small things. So um, I'm going to string Either my short bow. Like. Sure. Are you guys still moving forward? Yeah. Cool. Uh, you're knock moving an arrow, forward. so I'm ready. Are we in a line or what are we doing? Are you are you straight out or single file? Um, I think we'd be single file. I'd be I'd be definitely towards the back because I can't see. Yeah, I'll take well. point now. Okay. Obviously. Uh, Flynn, you have made a determination. It is one very large thing. Good. Yeah, um, something very big coming our way, and it's yeah, I can see said. it. 
you can <laughs> you can see the outline of it everybody else can hear rocks cracking as awesome. it moves through this area yeah. yeah doesn't sound good i'd say take some high ground if you can uh no high ground here i'll Slide take the low ground <laughs> um obi-wan has the only high ground in the area right now. far to one or the other side and, uh, and that's the next one over initiative everyone oh yeah Ooh, here we go roll the red die again oh dear god uh that's a 17 Seven. plus two 19. uh seven 18 7 19 and seven uh flynn uh give me a history check all right i didn't study much at school uh that is an 11 plus zero is 11. it's a ginormous creature you aren't exactly sure what it is and it's charging i'm going to put an arrow in it sure uh see if maybe i can dissuade it to hit this monstrosity you need a 16 boys and girls 16. i'm at plus two with my short bow so uh that's it 18 plus two is 20 not natural sure you put one in the Uh, gut yeah uh four eight points of piercing damage nice piercing uh nice uh harmony quincy as this thing begins to emerge it gets uh you get some ambient light in from the front uh you hear groom yell what's going on in there uh history check harmony and quincy history i'm actually quite a bit better at Uh, oh good maybe we know something history 16. Uh, yeah, you guys know what this is. You too. Uh, well, oops. Inquiring minds want to know. Uh, Harmony, it is a dragon. What? Quincy, what? it is a drake. Oh, okay. The main difference being the wings. Uh, and this giant maw opens up on this thing, and a cone of ash filled with small pebbles uh shoots out i'm going to need everybody to roll me a dex save for whole or half Dex save is my bad one is right. plus two uh that's an 18. pass uh, 15. pass uh, i'm trying to find where it's at on the left one. third one down 13. Pass. All three of you dive behind various stalagmites uh, as this cone of you aren't sure what it is, ash filled rock shard. Oh, oh the murder oh. hobos have failed me. <laughs> uh, 12, six damage by each of you. Uh, seven, Quincy and Harmony uh, as the cloud of shards goes up and over your head. You both pop back up and notice that this thing is closed within melee, melee range uh, or almost melee range. Uh, it, it has shot its wad. It's done for this round. Well, that's just you guys, gross. You guys may oh, definitely run or fight. Uh, well, don't either way, I'm Drake, loading my hands with to the swords. best of people. <laughs> so how far I'm going to cast Guiding Bolt again. Okay, Guiding oh. Bolt works. Uh, it, it can either be uh, uh, roll a d6. You know, I'll roll a d6. Uh, 10, 20, or 30. Feet. 10 feet away. This motherfucker's on top of you guys. Okay. I'm jumping into it. Fuck it. Yep. I'm going to get I'm going to cast face. the guiding bolt. I have to roll to hit. Uh, rolling to hit with a 16. 16 ah! hits. A lizard. Uh, cool. Flynn is getting teabagged by this thing. <laughs> Rolling the hobo yeah. dice for damage. Oh, that's failed. two hobos. Damn it. Boom. Boom. So that's six plus five is, uh, I'm sorry, two six. Six plus six is 12. Plus five is 17. Plus three is going to be 20. So he takes 20 points of radiant damage and get that advantage on the next attack against it. And here comes my man, Flynn, coming in for the attack. Actually, that's right. Harmony is up next. Oh. Oh. So, but Harmony attacked at the same time, right? So the advantage will go for Flint. 
So, Harmony, you are up. Is its mouth open? Uh, it was just a moment ago. But it's, it's not now. It spewed. Well, you, you guys are catching it at the end of the round. So, yeah, you can shoot her this mouth if you want. So I reach into my bag and I pull out the poison berries to throw into its mouth. Ooh. Yes. Now we're talking. Got to hit. Uh, try and hit it twice yeah. if you're throwing both berries. Knew I shouldn't have given her that. What do I need to hit? 16. Uh, use dexterity as your modifier because you're throwing. Uh, dexterity. So I get a 16. Okay. Once or twice. Just once so far. And I get a 20. Ooh, nice. Nicely done. Uh, the good news, bad news is this is an Ash Drake. Ash Drake. Uh, it is not immune uh, to poison. Ooh. A pair of deuces. <laughs> I'm oh. pretty sure that makes it fail uh give me two murder hobos there harmony damn it i got a two and a five so seven so 14 damage toxin uh new round new round flynn you're up oh yeah um okay i'm gonna do my two attack the first one's an advantage isn't it it is Oy. Okay. Uh, first one's an advantage. Uh, that's going to be a 19, and the second one is straight with a 17. Yep. Both hit? We aren't judging. 2-8. Uh, um, 9 and 3 is 12. 12 points slashing damage. Let's dance, bucko. 54. Uh, it gets Three attacks. Uh, the bite will be on one, two, three, four, five, six. It's biting on the hobo. Uh, so Flynn, it will try and bite you while clawing at Quincy and Harmony. Uh, for the bite. Jab it in the fucking tongue. Ugh. Eight plus seven, 15. Shoot, I dance out of the way of that and slash at its face just ineffectually, but you know. Uh, Look great, slashers, though. Harmony. 10 plus 7. Ugh. Yes. Uh, 8 plus 7, 15 on Quincy. Yeah, that hits. Uh, we're in the murder hobos. <coughs> uh, 2d6 plus 2. Slashing. Boom! Murder hobo. Oh. Uh, plus 10. 10 damage total. Each one of you. Oh, yes. As its claws slash across you, uh, tethering that finely coiffed hair. <laughs> Glad it tried to bite me. Uh, you also yeah. hear, what's going on in there? <laughs> uh, Quincy and Harmony, uh, having just been slashed across your shoulders, it's your turn to for a little payback. Okay. Not now, Gromeo. <laughs> I'm going to pull a ribbon, a sash. A little help, my, please. My way, so I'm going to twirl it and snap it. And a spiritual weapon of like a spectral whip starts going through the air. Um, and it's going to move towards the <laughs> creature, try to make an attack against it. Sure. Um, it's on top of you guys. So that's yeah, fine. so it's uh, make a melee spell attack. Here we go. Oh, uh -huh, natural one to hit. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, God. Uh, it's a five. Uh, Quincy's Ow. rhythmic gymnastics is whoosh, Flynn in, right into my box. <sighs> His ribbon is a wet towel from gym class. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yep. Rat tail in the ass. Um, annoying. <laughs> The damage is 1d8 plus my spellcasting ability, so it's going to be a 6 on the d8 plus a 4 for my wisdom modifier. So you're going to take 10 points, my friend. Halved 5. Friendly fire. Oh, sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! 
Uh, Harmony, you're up. Uh, at the same time you're doing your shit, Quincy is rat tailing the nerd. <laughs> so do I get whipping me into gear. <laughs> That's Seven, it. Seventeen to hit. Seventeen does hit. And I use thorn whip. Nice. Oh yeah, I love that. Uh, tell us all what that does. I create a long vine like covered whip in thorns. Quincy, are you taking notes? I stole this yes. from my sister's room. Just letting you know. Nice. She did. She so did. Black leather. Um, make a one d six. This would be the deadly encounter if you guys have not figured that one out. Oh, that's all right. Three points. Better okay, than uh, what that. Quincy did. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's a poor showing, old man. <laughs> Round four. You're up there, Flynn. You're you're taking it well, in the ass. <laughs> um, I'm going to take a bonus action to use my second win and heal. Uh, plus, my level is three, so heal 12 points of that damage back. Nice. There. And then uh, I will attack once with my uh, other sword there. Um I'm going to switch die. No, I'm not. I'm using that fucking red die. Fuck it. Use uh, it. 16. 16 on the nose. Hits. Right. Uh, that is... 8 <laughs> plus 3 is 11 points of slashing. Uh, you've carved out a scale or two and blood flows freely from the wound dousing you uh this does not ah, impress not again at all <laughs> it is going to bite yeah murder hobo again oh, uh, it's gonna oh. stick with its attacks i'm in its face uh <laughs> you're, you might be in its mouth Flynn, 16 plus 7 that's gonna be 23 that's mm. definitely gonna hit me uh harmony three plus seven is ten 11 plus 7, 18 on Quincy. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. So we'll go claw first. Quincy. Mm -hmm. 5 plus 2 is 7. All righty. Thank you. Uh, the bite, the teeth cause. Murder hobo. Uh, 11. And there is a burning sensation because it's given you syphilis. I was going to say, are you peeing? For two more points of damage, uh, 13 total, Flynn, two from fire. Fire. Oh, yeah. Quincy. Ow! Harmony, you guys are starting to get the shit kicked out of you. Yeah. Yet again, Grumio, do you need any help in that? <laughs> we were told you're a non-combatant. Could I take my healing potion and go, yes, yes, we would like some help. Sure, come on in. Yes, you can take your healing potion. Uh, 2d8 plus 4 is an extra healing potion. Quincy... I'll tell you uh, what. <laughs> Quincy, uh, you have your unusual potion. Or no, who had the unusual potion? I did potion? not get it. I do. Okay. And, uh, and, and Flynn's going to risk it and drink it after getting bit. Fair yes, enough. do it. Uh, well, I'm going to drink the shoot the potion of what the fuck. Actually, you already took the healing as your bonus action. Right. No, no. Yeah, next turn. Okay, gotcha. On my next okay. turn, I'm going to hit that sucker. Gotcha. Quincy, you're up. Well, I don't like to typically gamble with the healing of my party members, but they do. If they are a little bit down further, they'll benefit more from the channel divinity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to attack once more. I'm going to once again cast Guiding Bolt, using up the last spell slot for that. Oh, no, I have one more. But anyway, I'll cast it anyway. Uh, to attack, it's going to be 17, which we said 16. That's it. Hits. Yeah. yeah. Let's roll some murder hobos. 46. Uh, no hobos this time. It is uh, to remember not playing Yahtzee because that's four fives. So that's 20 nice. points of damage. Uh, radiant damage again. And again, the next attack has advantage. Uh, how about your spiritual weapon this round? Oh, yes. I will do that as my bonus action. Thank you so much, Frank. See, what a nice dungeon master. I, um, I, I care. I care. About <laughs> that's what it uh, is. So it's going to make an attack against that. Uh, the attack for that's I... only going to be... Yeah, the attack for that's only going to be a nine, however. So the spiritual weapon is going to dance around and look beautiful. Sune is loving the show I'm doing, but it is not going to hit. 
So it's, it's probably off kilter from uh, Flynn's ass residue on there. Yes, yes. It's, new it's, round, it's, new it's, round, it. round five, I believe, boys and girls. Uh, yeah. You can hear the uh, little Abner brain outside. Uh, Flynn, uh, you alluded earlier that you were going to drink this unusual I am. potion. My bonus action is to drink that unusual potion. And as my free action, I put away one of my swords and take a two-handed grip on the other one. Fair enough. Uh, um, you you noticed that you were starting to become eye level with this creature. Kine Chuck. Oh my uh, god. Apache Chief has risen Relatively and it is a potion of cool. growth. Awesome. <laughs> well, I drank it now. Love it. Uh, and then I'm gonna smack it like aiming right for its neck with that. You you will get blade. an extra die of damage if you hit. I hit. That's an 18 on the die, plus 3 is 21, and I will roll 2d10 <coughs> instead of 1d10. See a benevolent DM. Um, I've given you useful shit. Poison. 9, 14. Uh, 17 points of slashing. Uh, ooh, okay. <laughs> now we're talking. Uh, blood flows freely from that gashing wound that you've just given it. He's a Nancy boy. Take him down. Not enough to kill it. Uh, one, Harmony is going to get the bite attack. Uh, not with a three plus seven, ten. Thank God. Quincy, uh, five plus seven is twelve. Oh, we'll miss. 11 plus 7, 18 on Flynn. That hits. Give me some good murder hobo die. Uh, that, that will work. No sixes, but uh, plus two, nine damage. Can a shock. Quincy, Harmony. This thing's bleeding like a sieve, and so are you guys. You guys are up. Oh, and you hear, Jesus Christ, what the fuck is that? As Grumio <laughs> has wandered in. Wow. Oh, good of you to join us. <laughs> He's going to throw his pear core at it. Really? Uh, and you know what? With a 16 on the die, he hits it. <laughs> so he's going to do one hit point of damage to this. Nice. Thing. And what he's does that the do guy for us? And with that, it falls over dead. No. Yeah, <laughs> right. And he goes over and stabs it in the skull. Ah, Grumio the dragon slayer, motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, God, Quincy would, and too. Harmony, you guys are up. All right. Uh, Grumio uh, will flee immediately after hitting that. <laughs> is, is it still looking pretty hardy or is it looking pretty... pretty it's looking pretty wimpy right now. Yeah, pretty I only got right a 10 now. to hit. Okay. That does not hit. I will press mm. the advantage as well. I'm going to first off guide my spiritual weapon towards it. Sure. Attack with that. To attack, that's going to be a 17. <laughs> that hits. And then that's going to be 1D. All I can see is Will Ferrell from old school with the ribbon wand. With the ribbon, yeah. Definitely, definitely. Um, the damage on that is going to be 7 uh, radiant damage. and uh, I'm sorry, force damage. And then I'm going to... Um, since it's still there, uh, my party is looking pretty rough, so I'm not sure if they need this or not, but I'm going to actually channel divinity. I'm going to preserve life, and I'm life. going to take that mirror that I had out earlier I was primping with, and I shine up in the air, and I twist it a certain way, and pink light illuminates out of it. And uh, every creature that I allied with basically within 30 feet is going to get uh let's see there's three of us yeah i'm not caring about Gromeo. um <laughs> so fucker. i'm gonna i can do uh up to 15 hit points divided amongst the i'll divide it amongst uh all three of us basically so we each get five hit points but good which can heal us back up to would be half of your maximum hp if you are below that so if you're not below that, then it doesn't really mean that. But. The drink rears its ugly head uh, and prepares for another assault. Flynn, you're up. Not before I draw my other sword again and go at it. Uh, 
let me see. That's a uh, 19 and a 17, both of which hit. Where's that other eight? Uh, that's seven and five is 12 plus three. 15 more points of slashing damage right to its damn neck. Yes. Uh, you carve deep, uh, creating a very large crevasse in its neck. It wails briefly before its airway is choked off and begins to flail, and it seems to be coming crashing down on six. Uh, Flynn, the enlarged Flynn, the Kinechak Flynn, you can push it out of the way and let its blood ooze out. Yeah, I'll just kind of like... Or you can take one to the face. Can I punch it like Mungo? Sure. <laughs> you can punch its flaccid neck. <laughs> just making sure. Uh, the creature falls to the ground. Blood oozes out of its gaping wound. Grumio is nowhere to be seen. Uh, and Flynn, you are still large. What about Abner? Abner never How came How long in. does this last? Uh, if it lasts longer than four hours... See Seek doctor's attention. Consult yes. Quincy. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> so it I might be able to try and cross twice as much ground. Uh, that's true. Oh, there you go. Of course, it's going to take a while to search this cave in case there's any treasure. Yeah, that's going to have to happen because that's a dragon-like thing. And no. Uh, before we do that, is anyone else in need of healing? Yes. <laughs> How close did I come to killing anybody? You you had me at eleven, nice. and and then he gave the five extra out, and I felt like I could take another attack instead of retreating. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, I, I was going to exactly... use my whole action to disengage and move away because yeah, eleven hit points could be one hit. It could. Uh, yes. Yeah, no, I'm at half because of the preserved life I did. So I'm at 18 out of my 36. Okay, so that was that was potentially problematic. That works. Yeah. Right. Like okay. I when I was when I was back at 16, it was like blackjack. Did me half. Yeah. Do I hit so, it or not? Do you guys want to investigate the cave? Hell yeah. This will end day four for you guys. Everybody, give me d20 roll. Uh, hey, Grumio, can you light a fire and start cooking some dragon? Yeah, yeah. Uh, 14 for me. 19. 16. Uh, 19, 16, and 14. Uh, 19, you find an old backpack. 16, you find an old sack. Uh, 14, you find uh, stray coins and gems. Uh, Quincy, you are now the proud owner of 350 gold pieces, which is... Ooh. Irrelevant in a one shot. Flynn, yep. you find a general bag of weird stuff, including one scroll and one book. Uh, Harmony, you find yourself uh, uh, the skeletal remains wearing a ring. The ring is silver. And a backpack? Yeah. Okay. I take the ring. There's nothing in the backpack. It's mm. been raped across. Oh, okay. Uh, the ring is on the skeletal arm that's still there. You don't know where the rest of the pieces are. All right. When you found the scroll in the book, uh, yep. Harmony and found the, the ring. Hey, don't talk about Harmony that way. <laughs> <laughs> I was mentioning her sister. Ah, nice. Uh, Harmony, do you want to put the ring on? Flynn, do you want to read anything? I will put the ring in my pouch. Okay. Uh, I, I'll look at the book. Okay. Uh, I'm not going to read anything out loud. Three. Uh, it's a book on health. Right. I'll keep that. Um, who's, the, who's the old guy that uh, did all Jack LaLanne. Oh, Jack LaLanne. It's a book from Jack LaLanne. Uh, right on. Well, it might help me. Is he the guy my, with the uh, juicer? He has yes. X. User thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure he'll have some pounds that'll turn me from a and he's like five and sixty-five <laughs> pound muscle bound fighter to like a hundred and seventy-five pound muscle bound fighter. Hey. Uh, this item, every little bit helps, friend. 
if if you drink avocado whey or something. <laughs> Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> you have to study it. Oh, avocado days. kale shake. <laughs> well, I, I I add up my heart scan, and the lady's like, "Oh, your heart's clear, but you know you got some cholesterol." If you eat more kale, I'm like, "I'm gonna die before I eat more kale." <laughs> yeah, I'll be so dead tomorrow, off, lady. That is all <laughs> kale is off horrible. Off yeah, it's pretty bad. So if, if you read that book for 30 days and follow Jack Lane's Guide to Healthier Living, you will gain one hit point of constitution permanently. It's not well, I will, I will uh, uh, see to that the next time I'm spending a month in a city where the supplies would be available. Fair enough. <laughs> there you go. Abdul. Like, you know, maybe That's in between this and the next one shot. That's right. I mean, after all, I bought a short bow with the uh, 12 gold pieces I had left from the last one shot. There you go. Now, who did oh, I nice. hurt the most in that battle? Uh, let's see. I did, took a I, shit Did load. anybody get less than half? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah I yeah, went yeah. down to less than half, yeah. Okay. Scars. Oh, yeah. You guys got scars. Oh, no. Yeah. Not my beautiful face. Oh, no, wonderful. No. Scars. Well, does you're, it, you're does it, be on the shoulder. Oh, that's does it. Right. Does it add anything to my, like, scary visage? Nope. It's not going to no. add to intimidation, and it's not going to detract from charisma. What about charisma? Nope, not gonna do well, Chicks egg scars. I didn't do it to the Drake because I didn't really think it would work on anything like a dragon, but I do have an ability that allows me to intimidate my opponent and they have to make a DC fifteen wisdom saving. Yeah, that wouldn't have worked. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, that wasn't gonna work on a dragon. Now Elf maybe, helmet or not. Maybe after QA check. Uh you can also surmise that that helmet you have allows dark vision. Yeah. The scroll That's is awesome. cleric. Cool. So it's a helm of elven sight. Thank you very much. Hi, elf. <laughs> me, 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 me. Uh, <laughs> the night passes uneventfully. Uh, Grumio does cook the fire. If you're going to eat the drake, I'm going to need constitution checks. Just to see yeah. how you like it. I'm going to try it. Why uh, not? That's a 17. Uh, you love it. I like dragon meat. Grumio, I'm not a fan. You like it, Harmony. Hell uh, yeah, I do. Uh, just I a recon check. Out. I got a twelve. Yeah, it's okay, Quincy. Quincy's okay with it. It's a bit. It's uh, a bit tough. But... Grumio found it sinewy. <laughs> uh, well, Grumio, thank you so much for helping us with that last little bit of throw that you did there. I couldn't have done uh, that. The, par the parapet, I think. Uh, you've heard of parapet. That's what that yeah, was. <laughs> Terribly, clearly distracted it just enough so I could get in with those final attacks and nearly sever its head. Clearly. It was the pair. Yeah. He is a hero. I'm a hero. Standard hero. Well, I wouldn't exactly be going heroes. that far, friend. Let's That's go ahead and back that up a little bit. So. The four of us defeated the dragon. The, oh, <laughs> yes. I am, yes. I am it, awful good, it was but definitely I am all four of us. this is over. <laughs> uh, I, uh, I believe we can, that can be arranged, good. Harmony. We can make sure we, we're up. <laughs> yes, trophies being taken. Cross my hand, palm with silver. <laughs> Nothing. Uh, trophies? Yeah. Yeah, I want to take some teeth. Sure. You want a nature check or survival or what? <laughs> Animal handling. Of course you do. Uh, that's a 11. Uh, well, you got a chip. <laughs> yeah. I give up on that idea. Okay. Grumio wants the head if nobody else is taking it. Fuck you, hey, Grumio. You're going to drag that thing around here as we go through the desert for another uh, potentially oh, 12 days. My debutante upbringing says fornicate you, Grumio. No, you said it right. Fuck you, Grumio. <laughs> you said it right. He, he will say that. Uh, I, I believe it. if you have a debutante upbringing, it's oh, bless your heart. Yes, <laughs> right, I said that earlier go. today. Bless That's your it. heart, Grumio. <laughs> Okay, you've been there <clears throat> four days. You are now into day five. You guys have won some stuff. You've got some stories to tell. You found some stuff. Uh, you are at five. I will, I will give you one to. I, I will speed up travel on areas that you've done. So uh, you guys are at. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, you guys are at 10.06. Where would you like to go? Let's well, we haven't really you. found 
exactly what we're looking for for the sheik. Um, well, so we found the cave. I we did we found the cave. Water. We killed Drake. We know there's at least one Drake in the area, or was. Yes, that's true. That's I because because we killed him. <laughs> uh, <sighs> I pray to my deity for strength. <laughs> I pray to mine for strength as well. <laughs> or a restraint. Do, do you think, Harmony, that you could uh, do that thing with the mule some more? What thing with the mule? You know, it, it went along with you earlier, and, and I'm thinking if, if perhaps yes, this is, uh, Rumi and I have been to Tijuana. I know, yeah, this, I know this, this trick. This is taking a turn, friend. Uh, if if perhaps Grumio was to fall in a chasm, yes, yes, um, I believe I could do that thing with <laughs> the mule. Nice. Uh, I intentionally didn't say donkey. Come on. I like how yeah. all three of us just look at each other. And we understand that Grumio is not going to come back. Yeah. <laughs> He's not. Okay, where do you want to go now? Well, I see lots of open chasm. space to the north, so perhaps we should go there. So, just you one idea. Sandy back route? toward the lava field or the volcano? You are not going to get into the volcano or the lava field. So, I think so. We go to 905 and 805 and 804. Uh, I'll give you a combined one there, so I'll give you two more hexes. Uh, so I'll give you three to one. Oh, three, eight, oh, three, guys. Yes, let's do it. Well, uh, let's go to eight, oh, three. I think I'm gonna need initiative. Can't be oh, worse than the Drake. Uh, it, well, it 14. A, a yeah, don't don't stranger, say that. Yeah. A cloaked stranger comes up. Uh, let's see. This is number nine. Stranger danger. Uh, I got 14. Yeah, cloak figure. I'm sorry, 14. What else? I had a 14. Seven. Seven, 14. <clears throat> nine. Uh, 14. You got a cloak figure coming up on you. Uh, they're carrying a staff. Uh, the sun. Oh, they meant the Yeah, weather's fine. It's normal. It's hot, arid. <clears throat> but you've got this individual single individual that's it might be Spock's brother you aren't sure uh, hello there traveler who might you be I'll call yeah. out as my hands fill with swords uh, uh, you hear him kind of hiss the answer that he is Sadie the usurper the he? Sadie the usurper do we recognize that name uh, Arca or Arcana. Arcana. Shite. 14. Same as. Yeah. 10. 7. You guys don't know who Sadie the Usurper is. <clears throat> oh, well, that's yeah. Sadie the Usurper. I'm Quincy of the Clericacy of Sune. Uh, the individual pulls back his cloak and reveals a serpent like head. This guy is a yawn tea. Ugh. Yeah. Well met, fan. Quincy of the God I don't care about. <laughs> well, I see the Lady Fireheart has not touched you. Uh, he's examined the three of you as well as Grumio and Little Abner and asks, how much for the ass? <laughs> Grumio yeah, will be Grumio? free if you wish to yes, take him. You can take him. Hey, hey, you're right. Hey, you get bastards. <laughs> he's free to a good home. He's not housebroken. But the, he is free the mule we need. Um, the ass, not so much. Yes. I'm not interested in the the bipedal creature. Are you sure? And he outstretches his hand and produces several what appear to be diamonds. Mm. <clears throat> we can't I, give a little Abner to him. I offered a fair trade. He might eat him. A little. He offers a fair trade. But he might eat the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you can pay extra for that, so I don't know. <laughs> um, 
Seeing as you what all the kids want these days. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. First time viewers are like. <laughs> that was unintentional. <laughs> I'm just going to uh, attack him. Look, that works too. <laughs> yep. some dumbass I'm straight up going to cut his goddamn arm off if I can. Okay, fair enough. Uh, it's on like Donkey Kong. <laughs> sure is. That's a 22 and a 19. Okay. Oh, shit. Uh, that's not so good, but uh, 8 and 3 is 11, plus 3 is uh, whatever that's, 14. 14, 14 yep. slashing is my opening, Osalvo. Uh, Let's dance, Snake Boy. Uh, Quincy, you're up with your 14. All right. Um, well, uh, seeing that this is just pretty much going down, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw my mace as well. Uh, I'm going to, however, before I do anything, I'm going to cast a spell. I know it seems like I'm just doing the same spell over and over and over, but these are different days. So here we go with Guiding Bolt. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing that a 14 is going to miss him. It is. Oh, it does. Excellent. So then he is going to take rolling four murder hobo dice, which are d6s, by the way, folks at home. Uh, murder hobos this time. That's a one, one is two, plus four is six. Uh, 11 points of damage. And next attack gets advantage. Uh, he is understandably not happy. The bite is going to go odd even. <laughs> even. Uh, that's you, Flynn. Uh, and the scimitar is going after Quincy. So Flynn, 11 plus 5, 16 on the bite. Nope, I've got two swords. And, uh, huh? <laughs> if I have two swords in my hands, I get a plus one to my armor class. Oh, okay. Maybe gotcha. 17. <clears throat> the scimitar on Quincy, 11 plus 5, 16. 16 will hit. Uh, D6 plus three. Three plus three. Six damage as it slices across that old scar that you're going to have forever. Mm. That brings us to harmony at the end of round one. <clears throat> what do I need to do? What Kill this guy. Do? Mm. And by this guy, we mean the Yon T, not. Oh, yes. You know. The gross guy. Um, oh, I've rolled a well, one. Either way. Right at Grumio. Yeah. Oh, no. It's <laughs> so, in that one. 19? Cast that and bolt on Grumio. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> how far away That's am I? That's second level. Uh, you can be... I'll roll a d10. You're five feet away. So you can't I'll be right in his face, because I'm there. Thorn whip again. Okay. Thorn whip. And that is... Was it one... Gosh darn it. 1d6. <clears throat> Five. Nice. Oh, yes. Round two. Round two, boys and girls. Round two. Quincy, Flynn, both of you have 14. I'd like to think that Flynn, whenever we have the same initial, he'll just go first because he's the warrior. Type. I'm going to, because I'm right in its face. Oh, yeah. I will smack the shit out of that bitch again. Uh, okay, so 19 is the offhand. Uh, 14 plus 3. Uh, 17 and 19 both hit. <clears throat> oh, yeah. He only has yeah. AC 12 for some reason. Yeah, because he's a biatch. That's 6, 5 is 11, and 3 is 14 slashing. Nice. Quincy. I'm just double checking the spell real quick, but I believe I'm going to cast aid. Um, yes. Try that shit again. I'll punch you with my hand guard again. I'm going to cast, uh, I'm going to gesture with my hands, say a quick prayer to Sune, and cast aid. And what's going to happen is um, my allies with toughness and resolve, uh, three creatures within range. So, um, uh, can I say? Oh, yeah. Okay. So all three of us, basically, we're each going to get aided in this battle. So we're going to have our hit point maximum and current hit points increased by five yes. for the next eight hours. Nice. <clears throat> and that's a little it. countdown and, bar. And then I'm going to draw. Right? And, uh, yeah. Then I'm going to kind of move out around to try to flank this guy. Sure. Uh, bite goes to six. Uh, Flynn again. Right at me, big boy. 
uh, odd even for the scimitar. Two even. Quincy, scimitar, win, bite. Ooh. Win. Natural yeah. one. You will have advantage oh. on him next time. Nice. Uh, Quincy. <laughs> 18 plus five that scimitar cuts deep Ooh. uh it must have hung up on your armor and caused him to fall. four plus you're not very good at this biting three. thing are you <laughs> seven damage to quincy uh okay. harmony end of round two what do you want to do <clears throat> attack go ahead 19 Yep. God, you guys are rolling. Hot. Yeah, our dice are on tonight. The whip again. Ugh. Whip it good. For one. Devo, you are not top of the batting order. Flynn, Quincy. Yep. Oh, Quincy and with an advantage. Huh? Okay, first one with advantage is a 19, and the second one is a 15. So those will both hit. I'm going to carve him up, but I need to tell him. You don't dance very well for a snake. I killed a dragon yesterday, bitch. Uh, 11 points of slashing damage. Nice. Okay. All right, well, I'm going to cast um, Cure Wounds on myself. <laughs> so I'm pretty hurt right now. Well, not really hurt, but uh, so I'm going to get eight. Uh, another eight. Wow. Eight uh, plus my two for the bonus. That's uh, actually three for the bonus. That's so 11. And that is going to be my standard. And that is it for me for this turn. Bite. Even again, Twin, it really wants to bite you. I'm attempting Ooh. to distract his attention. Uh, 16 plus 5, 20. That's, that's going to hit. And Quincy Scimitar, 19. God, it hates your gut. Oh, man. Quincy, All right. 4 plus 2 is 6. Oh, give uh, me the bad news. Well, it's 1d4 for the bite. Yeah, plus? Uh, 2 plus 3, 5. And 2d6 poison, no save. Murder hobo and 5, 11. 11, so that's a total of 16 points. All right. And Harmony, you're up. This thing's not looking so great. But what about my partners? Uh, Quincy's looking better. Or was. <laughs> Every time he that kind of that kind of balanced it back out. You know? <laughs> so, does anybody need cure wounds? I'm okay enough. <laughs> okay. One says, I just I... took a massive poisonous bite, but yeah, you know, <laughs> I'm all right. Okay, that's what you say. I could use my I could use my second wind again. Uh, it's another day. All right, I'll try to hit it again. Fifteen. Yeah. Mm. Thorn whip. Ugh, one again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? You're oh, really boy. keeping him in the ball game. Yeah. Whips are really the worst weapons in D and D. Quincy and Flynn. Yeah. Put him out of his misery. Ah, yeah. Well, the first one is a 19 plus 3, uh, so that one's going to hit. And the second one is a natural 20 with the offhand, so that one's going to hit. So I need to roll 3d8 plus 3. Oh, gosh, i got to break into my pansexual dice. <laughs> Hold up now. <laughs> Saw something uh, here every day. <laughs> donkey shows, pansexual That's... dice, taking it in the ass. Uh, we do everything here on Motor Hobo, guys. Plus three is 22 no points judgment. of slashing damage. <laughs> nice. Love it. The slashing seems to go through the left side of his neck as well as through the right side of the neck as Flynn Excellent. scissors him. Uh, really? Up, really? 
Scissor. That's a scissor move. Come on. Uh, Ginsu, baby. You're such a Sounds man. Sounds splint appropriate. Cuts, cuts off his head, uh, and he slumps to the ground, bleeding out. Quincy, what are you doing at the same time? Because I stab Gumio in the face. Oh, wait. Uh, yes. I, uh, <laughs> I'm going to flop my ass on the ground and say, somebody make me a fucking belt. And then uh, I'm going whoa, to... Whoa, 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 whoa. I was... Quincy could roll That's, a I'm just one falling down. Up your day. <laughs> I'm still I was actually down. about to cast hold person, so uh, it will just won't do anything because he's dead now. So. <laughs> wow. Okay, you got a dead now Zahn there. Uh, what do we call him? Sadek the Usurper. Uh, and yeah. he did have a handful of gems. Yeah, I he want some gems diamonds. and some shit. Well, we're taking those diamonds. Let's search this dick's entire being. Everybody roll a d20 straight up, including Grimio. See who gets the diamonds first. And I'm going to. Why does get to roll anything, asshole? 17 straight up. 10. Straight up. 15. Uh, You got them, Flynn. Now D12 against me. Let's see if they're really diamonds. All right. Oh, shit. Don't tell me. (laughs) Nine. 12. Uh, Cubic zirconia. Yeah. They're pretty. I'm going to go. I'm going to look at it and wait in my hand for a minute and go. Grumio, you deserve it, man. Now let's see how how close they pass. That's all right. You know what? 99. 99% of the people will still think they're diamonds. That's okay. Uh-huh. I'm going to give that them is, the Grumio. That is a 99 on the fucking dial, right boys and girls. Awesome. Okay, Grumio takes them. Uh, He'll be dead soon enough. Twin, roll a D10. Nine. Rubio pulls out a piece of glass and pops it into his eye, and he takes a look at this, and he goes, I say, these are $9,000 worth of gemstones. Rubio is a happy man. <laughs> well, we, uh, when we pay you, for you, an ass, You deserve it, Rubio. <clears throat> uh, this is two of three. Where do you want to go next? Oh, hang on. Mm. Maybe it would help if I actually... Show the fucking map again. Yeah. Throw us the map again. <laughs> you were at number nine. Ah, what day number is nine. this? Um, five. Day five. Shall we proceed nine o two and kind of weave our way around? Yeah, we'll zigzag our way back. Nine o two one o. Nine o two is. And then one o dot o three. But uh, anyway, uh, well, sand. This the, yeah, this is this is the end of day five. End of day five. Camping one, in the dunes. One, one, two, three. So day five. Grumio is very impressed with his stones. He puts on a spectacular meal of fungus that he has found. Everybody give me an investigation uh, check. I did that. Found anything. <clears throat> investigation 13. 16. Wow. One. Uh, 16. Odd flora, even fauna. Even hey, Dave has made negative fauna. investigation checks. Uh, so. Nice. You find a strange red creature. Three of them. Not very large. Size of overgrown puppies. Uh, they have red fur, white faces, uh, white stomach patch. Uh, they seem to be curious. Well, I want to go up and level on them. <laughs> uh, I'm a droid. Come on. Give me an animal handling. Let's see if they tear out your face. Uh-huh. <laughs> are they furry? Or are they, they scaly? Are, they are furry. Animal handling. They're red pandas. That's oh. what I was thinking. Oh, so they're going to go... 19. They like you. Of course they do. I'm a druid. Everyone does. Yeah. Everybody loves harmony He's anyway. smaller yeah. than they are. Oh, uh, I rubbed them. Oh, they're so cute. Oh. Now, with that higher roll, you realize that where there are babies, there is yes. probably a mama. But she sees that her babies love me and I love them. Grumio asks, uh, what do you think they taste oh. like? <laughs> uh, well, I was wondering the same thing. And mate, I turn but... around and I... 
It, Stab I've from you. Got but they are the so message. cute. How could you say such a thing? Don't worry, Harmony. We won't let anything befall your new little friends. Thank you. And I start scrap. I start scratching. You're such ears a noble too. man. I mean, animal handling, Quincy. Let's see if they like you or if they maul the shit out of you. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, geez. Actually, I did roll kind of low. Uh, it's going to be a uh, big fat. Uh, it's, uh, hey, I'm on the wrong page of my sheet here. Uh, it's animal handling, you said? Yeah. No, oh, I, I got a plus four in that because I'm high charisma. So, uh, uh, wisdom. So, it's going to be uh, 11. Uh, they accept the pets. <clears throat> That's fine. Uh, I, don't, I don't get all up in there like harmony. It's just enough to say, oh, yes, little friends, I like you too. And then I kind sure. of. Uh, they like you very much. <laughs> uh, day five is over. Day six begins. And I say, you guys, we're almost at day seven. We got 14 days. I think we need to start heading back. Mm -hmm. I think we do something like a. Eight two eight one seven one seven two six three six two five two five three. Just kind of zigzag back towards the starting point. Now I remember, so. a, any area that you've investigated, I'm giving you three to one. Uh, that's true. Well, so if you really want to get back, but see, we got to cover some other ground too, so that we can explore a wider area. But it's one to one. Yeah, but what are we really getting by exploring anything? Uh, you're doing well, your we're... fucking job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But are we going to. We can get... roughly map out 903, 904, and 10 as a bunch of lava field and volcano, and nobody's going to check. Right. But yeah. is anybody going to say, oh, look, you killed a Drake. You get extra hazard pay for that? I don't think so. Well, Grubio's trying to get the money for himself by carrying the head around. Exactly. And, uh, so, just as long as, we, just as long as we kill him and dump him far enough away that nobody will find him immediately it'll be fine i'm you know i'm thinking about 603 ought to as be long good as Abner's yeah okay five right. i think 502 503 is the very closest we do it before we no no it's got to be in those sixes okay <laughs> or the next <laughs> chasm we find whichever <clears throat> yeah, okay where do, you want, where do you want to go um a2 two. two uh a2 is a rift damn it it's man and which which directions is... does it bar? Oh, it's 60 feet wide. Oh, uh, and it goes uh, three to nine. How deep is it? 20 feet. Damn. That's the question none of you guys were asking before. That's true. <laughs> it doesn't, doesn't matter. I just... Well, uh, we'll cut back through 803 then. Uh, okay. And out around. To get it and then go to 702. So you got one. So where are you going next? Eight, 8003. Uh huh. 702. 702. 702 is a two. 702 is sand investigation. Yeah. Oh, don't roll a d12 for investigation, jackass. Uh, oh, 17. 18. Uh, 10. Uh, 17 and 18. Uh, you guys find a, a stone totem here. It's about three feet tall, and it's got one jewel eye, and it's missing another jewel eye. Uh, it's a short, fat, squat, indigenous individual, possibly goblinoid. Uh, the statue's going to be relatively heavy, uh, and it only has one gemstone eye. So you aren't sure how much it, it's worth. Well, we pop out the gemstone, obviously. Okay. Uh, roll a d20. Make sure you don't chip your weapon. Well, with my background as an archaeologist, I'm able to sometimes enter areas and know the monetary cost of something that is up to, I think it's 100 years old. 13. Right. Did I perhaps uh, know that? Yeah, go ahead and roll me an arcana check. 15 plus not <clears throat> intelligence is my dump stat so 15 you're going to know that uh the thing's more valuable with the gemstone eye intact right. do you want to so say harmony or harmony let's uh, slow our roll there for a moment and i'll explain that yeah, this idol if we wish to take it with us will be worth more money with the gemstone intact 
fine. All right. So, Groomio, you think we can load this thing on um, little Abner? I don't know. Go ahead and give it a shot. I'll keep an eye out. <laughs> can I lift it? Uh, give me a strength roll. Okay. Can I assist him? Yes. I, I have a, a dirty 20. Yeah, you can lift it. Nice. Uh, little Abner does not like the statue, but he does not seem to be impaired by it. Shut up, ass. We don't care. <laughs> I'll lash it into the pack saddle as well as possible. <laughs> well, it's, it's three feet. So it's a rider, essentially. It's worth 600 yeah. gold pieces. I'll lash oh, nice. it onto the pack saddle, though. Uh, yeah. which, which one was that? 0702? Yes, sir. Yes. Statue. Uh, you got 6 2, two or 6 3, guys. Or 1. Let's go to 6 3 and let's kill Grumio before the night is out. Nice. Good. I mean, oh, was that out loud? I'm what? there with you. Uh, that will end the day. Give me an investigation check at this point. Oh, there's a rift there. Yes. Perfect. We're going to, yeah, we're going to kick his ass right now. For a minute. Uh, investigation 19. Uh, like 10, 10 feet wide, uh, 30 feet deep. That sounds uh, like a makeshift grave to me. Oh, Harmony, what's your investigation? Fourteen. Uh, all three of you notice archaeological ruins are down in this rift. It's almost like a, a tremor has opened up the ground and this used to be some kind of religious site. Quincy can confirm this. He sees a lot of things similar to the statue. Uh, Boy, so, Grumio, you know, come look at this. <laughs> Grumio is curious. Uh, he's standing there. What do you think it means? I'm going to throw him in the rift. <laughs> I'm going to say, I think it means that you're some sort of important person. What kind of role you want for that? <laughs> He's I'm literally going to throw him into the rift. Uh, give me a, a strength check. Hoping to bounce him off the other wall before hitting the ground. <laughs> Catches it uh, eye on a nail. Modified, that's a 21. Oh, yeah. He wow. a plus three. So uh, give me 1d6 and then give me 3d6 because you're going to just bounce him off the 10 footer. Well, my goodness, <laughs> I have. I have four murder hobo dice right here that are all the same color. Uh, six, five, 11, three, 14, two, seven, or 16. Wow. Yeah, 16. <laughs> Grumio's remains are unrecognizable as he has hit every fragment down in the rift and is now looking like a pretzel at the bottom. Uh, Mission fucking accomplished. Little Abner. Ah! Braves, I'm gonna need an animal handling oh, by that's harmony. Me. That's oh, harmony. That's harmony. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I built a plan. Uh, Y'all knew when to go, right? Seventeen. <laughs> yeah, little Abner will follow you anywhere. Well, I love right. little Abner, so of course he will. So look at that harmony. You got yourself a mule. Religious relics. And Grumio Grave. <laughs> right? Uh, Quincy does and, look longingly at the archaeology ruins. I say, explore them, but now I, have a, the I have a very good feeling that we should perhaps not mention that we've traveled through this region <laughs> and found this archaeological site. Um, finding another way to go and disremembering this entire episode. I agree. At yes. least in our reports. That archaeological uh, digging might be um, lucrative. So, so how say you a back? small band of. Hmm? How are you getting back? Well, you know, after we return and give our report, then we'll come back. Fair enough. Uh, so you're going to travel. You're already taking path to make sure you get out in time. That's right. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, who wants to persuade Sheik Ali that you did the best you could and you aren't really sure what happened with Grumio? 
Well, my charisma and persuasion <laughs> skills are pretty good. What's everybody got for persuasion? I've got a plus, I believe it's plus four. Did somebody else do this besides me. No, I don't I, have I it. I think Flynn should do it. <laughs> <laughs> Can I use intimidation instead? Not against the Sheik, unless you want to oh. end up in the dungeon. I know, I know, I know. All right, I'll give it a go. <laughs> <laughs> Ground gave way, he plunged into a ravine, and we couldn't recover his body. He was okay. eaten by an ash drake. That's going to be uh, an 18 minus one is a 17. Nice. And I wail. <laughs> ah, I'm so sad. The only man she's ever loved. Well, Golly, I don't know uh, about love, but they've gotten on quite well. And mm, I yes. was never touched by a man. <laughs> Kikali is impressed with the Drake head and the fact that Grumio was uh, his brother-in-law and didn't much care for him anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so he will accept your offer and uh, um, I uh, should I should say a, a, a thousand mm -hmm. apologies Lord. Grumio was having me hold these stones for you. Stones? Oh, oh well by all means. Uh, that is <laughs> certainly going to sway it uh, let's see, though, because if he rolls 100, he knows what it is. I, I don't know what it is, necessarily. <laughs> Grumio was just having me hold them for him. Uh, 57. Nope, he falls within the 99th percentile. Awesome. Of, hey, these are fucking diamonds. This is awesome. Uh, he is going to further your dig in the future uh, because he notes that you only got to... Uh, 702. Yeah. I mean, we did a pretty good job for, you know... Yeah, no, I, but then I, we backtracked our way yeah. out. Well, yeah, so I, I, I'm not sure if I screwed up the timing or what, but I, I yeah, it, it, it worked. It uh, works. Yeah, certainly in a pinch it works. Uh, let's see, Rob, what'd you think? I, I had a lot of fun. That was that was. I haven't done a hex crawling for like 20 years, more. There you go. You know, I was reading about hex crawls, and somebody tweeted about them, and I'm like, man, I haven't done a hex crawl in a while. Yeah, people uh, just don't do it very often. Done. So, but you had a good time. Absolutely had a good time. Well, that works. Uh, Kevin, what'd you think? Oh, yeah, good stuff. Yeah. I, I've i actually never done a hex crawl, so that was actually really fun. Okay. New, new experience for me. We tried Tomb of Annihilation one time, and it did not work because uh, people didn't want to take the time to do something like this. So this was cool. Yeah, Tomb of Annihilation is painful. Yeah. Uh, it's go, ahead, go ahead and pitch uh, the podcast. Oh yeah, uh, Game Night Heroes. Yeah, we're out on Tuesday, and uh, we tell cool stories like this, and uh, you know, have fun. So. Only better. <laughs> oh, I don't know what all that, but he edits. I I don't oh. know why, but he edits. Yeah, so, yeah. edit. We got crazy <laughs> sound effects and all kinds of weirdness going on. But yeah. uh, <laughs> he, he edits but, uh, the donkey show parts and the strip. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. I take all the fun out. You know, <laughs> that's why uh, people come here. That's, That's right. it. And exactly right. That's why I'm here. Yeah. <laughs> My game's way better than these losers. Uh, <laughs> Carrie, what would you think? It was good. I enjoyed it. Um, oh, what was I going to say? The red pandas disappeared overnight. So oh, that was my... Oh, I was so no, sad. not the pandas. Damn it. You got, you got little Abner. They're not a red panda, though, Frank. Well, or three, yeah. for that matter. But you know what? You know where they're at. So, yeah, yeah, we'll never come back here again. <laughs> it makes me sad. You never know. David might have more oral surgery, and Jesse might be off. And I forget what he's doing. Las so. Vegas. Yeah, as I say, if we ever have to That's do this configuration Vegas. again, I'd be willing to go play some more in the desert. Yes, my or, former or just, go, just thirsty cleric will definitely go like to explore. <laughs> or some just ruins. sneak back in and explore the ruins that we found, and not even tell the shake about it. I just like my there harmony. Oh, well, you know what? Maybe uh, you know if David or Jesse come back. And we're doing a one shot. You can sneak them in as the new Grumio. Grumio 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. This is fun. Our, our last guide found 9,000 gold pieces worth of diamonds. So, yeah. And he was an asshole. <laughs> That's right. Folks at home, uh, this has been Murder Hobo Inc. One Shot Edition. Thanks for joining us. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our, our, or our archive something like that. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to buy cool crap like my shirt or a toilet cover seat or any, I don't know. We got a lot of crap on there. It's all cool, though. Uh, T-shirts, I think, are on sale for 15 bucks. 
for this week. Uh, so That's a good deal. Yeah, so if you're looking for a shirt, uh, check it out. Uh, if you want some customized dice, go on over to Twitter. Uh, check out at Pirate Dog Dice. See if they got time, energy, or inclination to make you stuff. Uh, and again, if your game stinks and you want to spice it up with some cool smells, uh, that is Adventure Sense at OddFishGames.com. Also, they make uh, the Shine system, so you can be a writer gooder than me, uh, folks. For all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thanks for joining us. Tomorrow is the Margu campaign. Uh, they're still in fucking Chasm Peaks trying to find the Dragon's Horde. They're assholes. We'll, we'll, we'll see how they do. So uh, they if you're looking for something to do and you're tired of basketball, join us tomorrow about 4.15-ish. Uh, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., thank you very much for joining us. Let's give them a big kiss and wave and get out of here. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Good night, everybody. Good everybody. Thank you so much. There are my glasses. Hey. <laughs> And you're done. Nice.